Hi everybody. It's been really overwhelming in the last three, four weeks actually. Um, we started mom on some new medication to stop her pain, which caused um, her to be agitated and fidgety and she hallucinated a whole lot. She was visiting with all of uh, my dad, my brother, her brother, everyone who's died, her father. And um, there were some ladies outside that I was being rude to because I wouldn't let them in. And they were bringing food for the funeral. So, not sure whose funeral, but she did not die. Um, we put her in for um, medication adjustment so she wouldn't hallucinate anymore. We've got that taken care of, but... The night, the, the next morning after I put her in, she had a heart attack. And she has a living will and a DNR. So I had them remove the IV. Um, they used it for a little bit of pain management. And then they removed the IV. And we were thinking she might be going into hospice, but they won't accept her at hospice because she's not far enough along that she's terminal. So that means that tomorrow or the next day she'll be coming home, which worries me because I'm not an RN and I'm not equipped to deal with um, heart attacks. Hopefully we'll be able to get into the doctor before a heart attack happens so that I get some assistance with pain because we're still not going to treat. Um, and maybe um, we'll find the cardiologist and find out how badly her heart is damaged and maybe hospice will take take her and which would be great because they'll be in home but they'll come and manage the pain and keep her comfortable and during all of that John has done an awesome job he's got our bedroom wall up between the living room and our bedroom uh, he finished the wall going into the bathroom I'll show you they just came today and finished spraying the foam. They only had sprayed half, about half. And so they finished the foam everywhere, which is awesome. And they also sprayed underneath mom's bedroom, the clothes cell. So that's all insulated now. The rest of it, of course, is insulated with the um, foam that John put in. And he's built the openings for the pocket doors here. We're going to have a 32 inch pocket door here. We got all this framed in. We only did two foot on centers uh, for the interior walls since they're not support walls. And he's run my electric through this wall. We had to get everything in the walls before they came. We also got last night the edge that comes out up here. We put two by fours on this side, which is to be able to nail our ceiling boards to, because we're going to do boards. These edges right here. Mm-hmm. We need to put one over here. We'll have to squish the foam back and get it in up here Gosh, on the yeah. top, because we side, decided the bedrooms were not going to have drop ceilings, which changed, I know. Imagine that. <coughs> We got the kitchen cabinet here to keep the dogs from coming in and bothering us. We have had rain here in the Ozarks. The Arkansas Ozarks. Our little area has been left out of all the rain that's been going on all around us. And I think we've received almost two inches. Oh, almost two, two inches in the last few days. Two or three days we've received almost two inches. Haven't gone down to check to see if our spring's running again yet. But the grass, the trees, the garden, they all love it. So, and I'm just kind of letting our garden go to hell. Because I haven't had the time or the energy dealing with mom to do it. But we do have pie pumpkins out there. We have some honeydew that's out there. There's some cucumbers that are out there. The tomatoes. The basil has gone to seed. I didn't even get to make any pesto. That's for next year, though. So, um... We will get a few things from that, but not much. But the garden is happy with water. Um, this all 
You finish spraying the ceiling, which is great. And John and I are discussing what we want to put in here. I know that that wall right there that we erected for the living room bedroom, on each side of it, I think I want to put wood, wood, um, either reclaimed wood or car siding or something like that there. Also on the west wall in mom's bedroom, I'd like to put wood. And I'm thinking the rest of it will have to be sheetrock. Um, sheetrock in the kitchen at least. The south walls, the whole south wall I'd like to have sheetrocked. This wall on both sides, of course the bathroom wall will be sheetrocked. Um, over here will be the wood burning stove. So I'm thinking some form of uh, brick going up, rock going up, something that's a thermal mass. So it will gather all the heat during the day and then let it come out at night. Plus, it'll just protect this all, a fire retardant, fire protectant. Same on the floor. Um, we're talking about the floor underlayment that we'll put down in order to either put vinyl down or um, floating flooring, the rustic wood planks or something. We haven't decided on that. John's going to talk to, he's already talked to two companies and he's going to be getting back with them to see if they're interested in bartering because we love that bartering stuff uh, for a website like with the spray foam. So that's a good thing, but I'm pretty weary trying to decide when mom will come home, how we'll do it, and hopefully let's cross all of our fingers and all of our toes and all of our arms and hope that she does not have a heart attack in between the time I bring her home and the time I get to talk to a doctor and at least get the oral morphine that I can put under her tongue to stop her from hurting. I don't really want to watch her suffer. So that's it. We have to go in now, clean the trailer. We also, in the midst of all this, are going to try to get the trailer ready to sell. Um, hunting season, dove season starts right around, or on September the 1st. And so we're going to get that trailer ready to go. So if you know anyone looking for a trailer, um, we'll have all the specifics and everything in the next week or so and get that sucker up. Uh, Mariah, mom let her out. She got hooked up with Gus. I didn't want her to have a second litter this year. She's having a second litter. So we got to get the mudroom built because that's going to be, um, my good friend Frenchie calls it the barn because my plan is it's going to house a freezer a washer and dryer, our boots and stuff, but mainly animals, dogs, and then the next round of baby chickens we get, or the next round of turkeys, or something gets hurt and needs to come inside, it's the barn. But I got to get that done because I'm going to have hopefully not 10 puppies this time, and um, I want them to have a nice place that we don't have to worry about them. Uh, and that would be out here. And out here, on this floor, all vinyl. I'm going to put one big piece of vinyl in that has no seams anywhere and can hold up to animals. So that's my plan for out here. Oh, Tom, leave her alone. Come on, Mariah. Tom is uh, harassing Mariah. Um, so there's the mama. The one who's going to be having the baby, Me, my. as you can see. Me, my. Say hi. Say hello there. Hi, baby. She's a big girl. Hi, She's baby. supposed to deliver somewhere close to the 1st of hi, September. Baby. So what does that give us? This is the 15th. We got 15 freaking days to get a mudroom done. And then um, Keter Insulation will come back out and spray the mudroom for us and underneath it do the whole thing so we got to get busy we got to get busy and I just feel overwhelmed very 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 overwhelmed 
So guys, let us know what you think. Oh, you want me to show the bathroom? Okay, I increased the size of the bathroom by nine inches. And then nine inches gave us room to get a wheelchair in with a heater on the wall because we will have a little propane heater so we can make the bathroom cozy whenever we want it. Um, which is awesome because that means the tub has moved down a little bit. There will be less spray on the window and like I said in the last one we're going to flip the window so the mechanical parts of the window are up out of the shower's way. But I'll have nine inches for a little ledge or something that mom can sit on. I'll build that out. This will be awesome. We're going to do plumbing and gas as soon as we get this trailer cleaned up a little bit before mom comes home and sprayed for fleas. We, we're having a flea infestation thanks to Tom Cat, the little kitten we took in. Sippy didn't have fleas. Tom Cat had fleas. So he's caused us to have fleas. All of the dogs were itching. They've all been treated now with the um, next care. And now I just got to spray the house. So, more overwhelm. More overwhelm. More overwhelm! Um, no, honey, I'm not showing in the bedroom because there's nothing new in the bedroom. John's trying to tell me what all I should show you, but I'm too overwhelmed. I'm just way too overwhelmed. So, too bad for you, honey. Fact is, it's a freaking miracle any of this got done in the last four weeks. And it's because he keeps working. I love him. He just keeps on going. But uh, now we're at two decisions I have to help make. Like, he did run the water lines. And we were going to do it under the house for my kitchen sink. But I actually said I don't really want them there. Men don't listen well. I would just want him to run here and along inside behind the cabinetry from where they're coming up right there for the bathroom because in order to do this that means he drilled a hole through the six inch base plate right into down below but that's going to interfere with me being able to put two inches of the foam with the um, silver on it all along the base of this for winter time and then we're going to put metal over the front of that so you won't be able to see it but we'll be insulated and this he says we can probably squish it up against it no 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 i don't want to worry about anything freezing inside water coming up through the middle here is a different story than coming up on the south facing wall right next to the foam. So I'm, uh, I know it will stay about 50, 40, 50 degrees underneath all year round. Uh, so I'm not worried about anything here, but nothing there. So those are little things that we have to change. And um, he did get all of the plumbing and everything ready for the mudroom. But uh, that is going to have a whole nother room around it and more, uh, uh, what do you call that, under the house. What's that called? Foam? No, the space underneath the house. Crawl space. They'll have a crawl space all on its own, and we'll have, that'll be its own little separate um, insulated area, too, so... I'm not worried about anything freezing there because nothing's going on the north wall. This will not take place. I'm going to go cut all this off, reroute, redo. But um, struggle, back to struggle. And John was hell-bent on me giving this update. Uh, so there you go, honey. You got your update. All you guys in YouTube land have an update. And too, too stressful. Sometimes on the homestead, it's just too damn stressful.
that's the time we're in now. So now I'm going to say goodbye and not let him come up with any other decision. Have a good one. Bye.